Welcome back Cobra Kai fans. In today's video we are going to be talking about why Stingray will go to prison for betraying Kreese in Cobra Kai Season 5. So with the ending of Cobra Kai Season 4 we see Terry Silver attack Stingray in the Cobra Kai Dojo. While attacking Stingray he consistently mentions the fact that Stingray wants to be a part of Cobra Kai. In the last scene of the season we then see a flashback of Terry Silver telling Stingray to do something for him. In order for Terry to make him a part of Cobra Kai, this results in Stingray telling the authorities that Kreese attacked him when it was in fact Terry Silver, who attacked Stingray as a way to set Kreese up and take control of Cobra Kai. Throughout Cobra Kai we see Stingray's persistence and dedication to Cobra Kai. We see him quit his job at the hardware store in order to become a security guard at West Valley High School, the school where all his fellow Cobra Kai peers attended. Stingray is the oldest amongst all the students that attend Cobra Kai, and we see the reality of this when he joins in on the school brawl and is ultimately arrested for assaulting a minor, while his peers in Cobra Kai are given warnings. But because he is an adult, he is put on probation for the attack and is given a restraining order that he is not to have any form of contact with minors. It was also stated that Stingray was never employed by West Valley High School and was putting his freedom on the line to defend his fellow Cobra Kai students as a result. Raymond was forced to relinquish his membership at Cobra Kai. It was also revealed that Raymond's mother kicked him out of her house, either due to being fed up with his antics or out of anger at getting in trouble with the law. This is when we first see Stingray's dedication to the dojo, and this would continue in the series. After being expelled from his mother's house, Raymond's sister agrees to let him stay at her house while she is out of town. He argues with his neighbor, Greg Hughes, over playing metal music too loud the night before. In the scene we can see Stingray acting like more of a teenager than an adult, as Greg his neighbor gives him a reality check of how he acts like a teenager and likes to hang out with teenagers and play karate all day, while other people his age have families and jobs. During this time, he is once again a free man as the restraining order has expired and his probation has been served, both apparently having been done without any further incidents. He tries to return to Cobra Kai, completely unaware of everything that has happened since the school fight. He makes his case to return, but John Kreese refuses to accept him, demeaning him in front of everyone at the dojo. In this scene we can see that Stingray feels betrayed as he felt that he put his all into being part of Cobra Kai, and Cobra Kai had become his home and his family all in one. It seems that Raymond is, in many ways, the living definition of a man-child and refuses to embrace adult life or the harsh realities of adulthood in general. Constantly trying to prove to everyone in himself he's still a youthful, upbeat, energetic person. It seems that Raymond lives in the past and is desperate to reclaim his youth as he avoids responsibility at all costs and dreads the thought of being viewed as old. This scene shows Kreese giving Raymond a reality check to realize that he is not a child anymore and cannot act like one forever just because he is living in the past aka his youth and doesn't want to move into the future aka his adult life. In a desperate act to be with his former friends, Raymond visits the West Valley High School junior prom. Bert lets it slip that a school friend who planned an after party had to cancel, and Raymond tells Bert not to worry, as he will host their after party at his sister's house. Word spreads, and his party is very well attended by the students. In this segment we see that Raymond doesn't have friends of his own age, as they have probably moved on in life, and most likely have a stable job and kids. We also see that Stingray is taking another risk of getting arrested just to fit in, as all the guests at his party were underage and drinking which he could have been arrested for. When Greg tries to shut down the party, Stingray knocks him out, which causes all the partygoers to cheer and chant his name in jubilation. Outside, Miguel and Sam fight against Tori and Robbie. When Sam, Tori and Miguel are pushed by Robbie into the swimming pool, Stingray then appears. Under the impression that this is part of the festivities, he does a belly flop into the pool with them, which is then joined by others. Stingray returns to the Cobra Kai dojo to ask Terry Silver, instead of Kreese, if he can join Cobra Kai. Silver, heavily intoxicated and on a downward spiral, brutally attacks the lesser student. After delivering a beating, he promises to make him a student if he does something for him first. He delivers a powerful blow to the head that renders Stingray unconscious. He wakes up in the hospital and names his assailant as John Kreese. By lying about his attacker, he secures a spot in Cobra Kai. Meanwhile, Kreese's arrest allows Terry Silver to take over Cobra Kai. Disgusted with himself, Raymond bursts into tears, but is too desperate for the place that made him feel young again. With this desperation to be part of Cobra Kai carrying on in Cobra Kai Season 5, we believe we will see Stingray go back to the Cobra Kai dojo after coming out of the hospital because he believes that Terry Silver will make him a Cobra Kai student once again. Terry Silver will not do this however and blackmail Stingray by saying that he lied to the authorities and that would land him prison if he was to tell them the truth about Terry attacking him 
we believe that Tori could be listening in on this conversation and realize what Stingray has done. And since still doesn't know what he has been locked for she could tell him what she overheard Stingray and Terry discussing. We believe we could see Kreese tell Tori to dig a little deeper and find out what else Terry Silver is up to. While this is happening however we believe we will see Stingray feeling guilty about betraying Kreese. At the end of season 4 we could already see the guilt on his face when he betrayed Kreese. And we believe him betraying his Ensei will play on his mind for a few episodes in the series. It is important to know that Tori at some point will come and visit him. To which she will make him feel more guilty about what he did to Kreese and tell him to tell the authorities the truth about who attacked him. This will most likely take place in the last few episodes of Cobra Kai. If Stingray is to confess in the next season we could see him being arrested because he gave a false statement about what really happened to him which is illegal. This could land him in prison for a period of time in Cobra Kai and we might not see him for some time in the series. This could also land Terry in prison but more of that in our next video. If this is to come to pass we could see Kreese acquitted of all charges and move on from Cobra Kai as a dojo and join Miyagi Do or Eagle Fawn. If this to play in Cobra Kai Season 5, it would be an interesting narrative in the show, but we still have to wait to see what is next for Cobra Kai. If Stingray is to go to prison, we could see his life change when he comes out as the reality of life will hit him, while he serves time with other adults in a cell in prison instead of kids. We believe prison will teach him to become more of a man than a man-child, and he may finally play into his role as an adult. Stingray Analysis Raymond appears devoid of any self-awareness or actual knowledge of social norms and truly believes his behavior, catchphrases, and jokes are actually likable and in Endearing. Though he never says out loud, he is deep down greatly miserable at the fact that no matter what he tries or does he can never have his true desire, literally becoming a teenager again and reliving his teen years. While it seemed that Raymond was able to be competent to some degree in a blue-collar job as he worked at the hardware superstore, he lacked the ability to handle himself in a professional setting when he was being interviewed by Principal Lopez at the high school. During the school brawl, Stingray intervenes and attacks many students who are minors. This lands him in legal trouble with a restraining order, probation, and a jail sentence. Upon his release, Raymond demonstrates that he hasn't learned a single thing from his antics. Instead, he believes his willingness to fight in the school brawl should earn him a spot in Cobra Kai or a thank you from the senseis. He proves he's not only immature and obnoxious, but extremely self-deluded and insecure as well. Even when he's had harsh and true facts said right to his face he adheres to his foolish self-beliefs. During his after-party, he didn't stop the fight between Sam, Miguel, Robbie and Tori but instead, jumped in the pool. Even when viciously beaten by Silver, he goes along with his plan to frame Kreese, so he can be let back into Cobra Kai, which shows how insecure and desperate he is. Do you think Stingray will go to prison in Cobra Kai Season 5? Comment down below. Cobra Kai World Out.